Welcome to day 10, in which we'll look at the database designer and lake databases. Now on my data tab in Synapse Studio, I can create a new lake database using the database designer. So I'll click the plus and go into lake database. And this brings up a design studio. What I'll do is I'm just gonna pop out into full screen mode. And now what we can do is we can actually connect to a data lake storage account. And I'm gonna to browse to a curated data area where I have some dimensions and facts that I would like to create tables for. So I'll call it, I'm gonna call this uh, web data warehouse uh, v2. And the data is stored in parquet format. And now what I can do is I can create tables. So top left, I can create from a template. So there are some industry standard templates that I can use, or for myself, I'm gonna go and create them from data in a data lake. So I'm gonna choose my storage account and I'm gonna to browse to where that data is. So as I said, we go to the curated and I have some dimensions and facts. So what I'll do is I'm gonna pick a dim date dimension. I'll call the table dim date. And when I preview the data, it'll analyze, well, I know that there's no strings longer than 100, so we'll limit the max length of a string. If we preview the data, then we can see we get data back from the data lake. If I create that, you can now see we've actually got a visual representation of that table. What I'll do is I'll also bring in another table from the data lake, which is the facts table. So I'll browse back down into my data lake. I'll go to my curated and I have a fact table called fact internet sales. I'll bring that in. I'll call that fact internet sales. And I should have a preview of that data again. I'll set the max string length there for optimization and we can see we get data back. Okay, so that's my fact table. If I create that again, we'll get a visual representation on here. Now what we can do, we can actually create relationships between these tables. Now this doesn't do anything itself in terms of any referential integrity. However, if you import this data via Power BI, it'll respect those relationships and pull them in. So what we can do is we can click on relationships and set a relationship to a table. So what we'll say is we'll go from dim date, the date key column, to the fact table on the order date key column. And there you can see that it's referenced that order date key as a foreign key. Now what we can do is we can publish this and this will be available in the lake database area. So I'm just gonna minimize that in this lake database area here. And it'll be available for querying using Synapse Studio, SSMS or Power BI.